This video shows you how to try out the what if analysis in your dashboard. First, upload the what if analysis extension through the managing customization slide out panel, then refresh your browser. Now, the what if widget will appear in the visualization list. Let's start the what if analysis for this fictitious coffeehouse dataset. The goal is to estimate the sales when applying different scenarios. The data shows different attributes for 1000 shops. The data contains the store ID, city, state, shipment cost, sales, number of tables, and whether the shop has a drive through or not. Drag what if analysis visualization to dashboard. As the goal is to estimate total sales, let's drag it to the target column slot. Drag key drivers or predictors for ads budget to input columns. If you are not sure, you can click on the auto fill input columns button. And finally, add a context column which specifies how data is aggregated or leave it empty to use the default aggregation. To create a machine learning model that predicts sales and start your what if analysis, click create a model button. This process takes approximately one minute. After a model is created and trained on your data, you can simulate different what-if scenarios by applying percentage changes to input columns. For example, if shipment cost increases by 10%, advertising budget increases by 30%, and the number of tables remains constant, what is the estimated sales? If you are not happy with the model prediction strength, you can apply additional training by clicking on the train model button. It is worth mentioning that the ML model is built, fitted, and run entirely in the browser, client side, without pushing any compute to the server. If we would like to limit the estimate to a particular data segment, for example for a few states, you can add a context column and apply filters. Thank you for watching.